Hey guys, Todd here with TradingAnalysis.com. This is the free stock options video update for Friday, September 12th. And today we're going to take a look at the uh, EEM ETF. We have uh, long positions working right now. We're going to show you the trade. It's not too late to get in. In fact, we're looking to get it at even better prices. So here is the uh, setup. Let's dive in. EEM is the Emerging Markets ETF. And looking at this percent change overlay uh, since February of this year, uh, EEM has performed quite well uh, relative to the Qs and the NAS, the transports. It's done better than the S&P here in white, the Dow, and definitely the Russell. So we've seen the EEM pull back a little bit, and you're seeing the Qs kind of hold their own. Transports are towards the highs, S&P sideways, Dow sideways. Russell's up around the highs. So it looks like the uh, EEM, the emerging market, is pulling back a little bit, similar in size to that little pullback. We're looking for a resumption back to the uptrend. So here are the technicals uh, for the setup. Here's the daily chart, and we are looking at um, the move up in August as five waves. It's a diagonal. It's a leading diagonal for those of you who are familiar with Elliott. Um, then we are now looking to pull back in the B wave. Okay, so we're looking for the B wave to hold the 618 retracement of the August rally. And that's at 44.18, so $44.18. 786, excuse me, 786 retracement could also hold in at 43.72. So here's the zone. That's the zone of price support we're looking for. Uh, we also are looking for a timing, uh, timing of the B wave. So we did a price comparison of A wave compared to B wave. Now let's do a time comparison of ongoing B wave compared to A wave. A 50% time retracement would be September 17th. A 61% time retracement would be September 20th. Okay, so we're expecting a low down into these levels next week, into the time and price level. So we just put on a half a position um, to get long EEM, and we did it in the options market. Here's what we did. Okay, we are short. Um, we are short premium. We did it with a short put credit spread by selling the 44 puts in October and then buying the 43 puts in October. Okay, the reason we did the 44, 43 put spread was because break even, uh, we collected about 27 cents would be just around the 786 retracement. So if you got 27 cents, you know your break even would be like 43, what 73 if that's right. Okay, that's right on top of the 786 retracement, right? So we're expecting this level to hold. So we put a half a position on. We're going to look to put the other half on as it carves out a low over the next week or so, and then we'll continue higher. So here's the trade that we did. Again, we did the um, 43, 44 October put spread. We did it for about 27 cents, um, down real small in the trade. Uh, we're going to look to put the other half on for... Uh, resumption of the uptrend. Okay, guys, hope that trade helps. If the video um, helped you at all in your trading, uh, go ahead and give us a like or subscribe to the YouTube channel and you can get these videos delivered to you. We do them almost every single day. Obviously, we talk about real positions that we're managing with uh, my own personal capital as well as the trades that we uh, give out to our research customers at tradinganalysis.com. So uh, have a look. Uh, you can get updated on a trade we're watching or come check out the website and take a look at all the trades we're managing uh, for our customers. All right, guys, good luck. Hope the, that helps you and see you in the next video update.